my hallway is kind of dim so you guys are gonna have to excuse everything but i've been promising you guys a beauty room tour so today is that day so let's go ahead So it's officially time for me to give you guys the tour. Obviously, it's nothing fancy. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I love it. Um, and it's better than the living room, which I, is what I was working in before. So uh, this is where I film, obviously. Uh, that is the camera I use. That is the Canon uh, 77D. And of course I have my three ring lights because I mostly film at night. Uh, and then I have a kind of like a ring light over here. So I'll take my pictures here. That way I have light coming at all angles. So yeah, I got these ring lights off of Amazon. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Um, of course I got this little guy here where I do my makeup. And yeah, those are just some fun new products. Um, I was actually gifted these by Velour. So we have the lashes, their raw product they came out with, uh, their brand new mascara. I cannot wait to try this. Bought this. This is their adhesive eyeliner. I cannot wait to try this. Um, hopefully to get rid of the lash glue. That's actually in clear. So I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, the famous e.l.f. putty primer. I need to try that out. I have that out for later and yeah all right so um don't mind me my computer my work desk uh where of course where i edit everything my uh, pictures oh my gosh i love these so much um so when i decided to put these in my beauty room i just i was so attracted to all the colors and the fact that she gets to travel in them and it's kind of like a set so here she's planning her travel and here she's visiting two different places and future goals people future goals <laughs> so over here is kind of where i keep like sfx stuff um minus my jewelry you can see gizmo i got him at universal he is so freaking cute along with my harry potter wand yes i'm a big fan of harry potter so uh just a couple quick notes you know these are just the cheap uh <sighs> Walmart bins. Um, I didn't want to get anything too crazy or expensive for my SFX makeup just in case anything leaked. So in here we have my latex, my isopropyl meristate, um, fake blood, things like that. Oops, sorry if I could focus that would be great. So this is kind of where I keep all my bottles. Eventually I want to get like shelves to put those on so they're not just laying down. Um, some more goodies horns and skeleton hands and all kinds of good stuff in there and then here's where I keep like my paint brushes cotton balls and things like that all right what we got in here more cotton balls let's see I kind of forgot because it's been a little while these are wigs yeah wigs and just my ipsy bags so I use those for my giveaway. Uh, you can see this big old silver thing over here. This is a reflector. It's kind of what I use to help take my pictures. So my face looks like it's nice and lit up and no dark areas. This up here, my daughter painted for me. So pretty, I love it. Um, this shelf was actually built by my boyfriend. Um, I love it so much. It actually fits perfectly. So just a couple little random things. Um, that horse um, music box I've actually had since I was a kid. It's funny because nobody will touch it and sometimes it goes off. <laughs> yeah, so that's a little creepy. Um, but I got my daughter's painting behind there, a little Pachaco 
box that I had since I was like in middle school. A uh, jewelry box that my grandparents gave me along with um, some really cool makeup boxes from friends. Uh, we got some storybook cosmetics. Oh, that was a fun summer. No, that was spring break. My bad, that was a fun spring break. Um, but yeah, and then you can see my son when he was a baby. One of my lovely dearest friends got me this for my birthday. Love that perfume. Uh, some Marc Jacobs. You can see me back there. That is actually my grandfather's grave. That's very, very special to me. So I had to have that where I can see it at all times. And I really liked this. I got this from Home Goods. It says, never lose your sparkle. And these little stars, they actually like flutter around when you shake it and stuff. But I, you know, I really don't shake it. And then a little Sailor Moon music box that plays. My daughter got me that. I love it. I'm also obsessed with Tinkerbell. So she's there. I needed like a little pop of greens. So we got some grass. I got that from the at-home store. And my little gnomes. Uh, I got these guys from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I know they were supposed to be just for Easter, but I think they're cute and they kind of give me the spring bright, the spring vibe with flowers and carrots, so I just left them out. Um, this desk right here I got from Target. It is so pretty. I love it so much. The drawers are really, really nice and it's very sturdy. That was a very good buy from Target. The desk I got over here, I got this from Target as well. <laughs> Uh, this one slides open really easily and uh, yeah, it's a really nice working desk. So if we go into the closet, which I probably shouldn't show you guys, but oh yeah, a lot of stuff. Okay, so in here is mostly where I keep backups. So this is where I put like my transition for all my holiday stuff. Obviously my kids um, dance recital costumes until it's time to use them. Uh, once they have their dance recitals, those won't be in here anymore. But I keep my backdrops hanging up uh, in case I ever want to use those. It's a really easy way to keep them organized. So, yeah. And then there's some packing stuff back there. But all my holiday stuff is all in here. Yeah. So, I don't go in the closet too, too much unless it's time to transition to a new holiday. I got that from Home Goods. I actually did not like that at first. I had it over here on my main wall, but once I put it up there, I kind of liked it. I just didn't like the like leopard print. I don't know, it just kind of threw me off, but oops. <laughs> but being up there, it's not so bad. And then I kind of keep like my, my giveaway stuff in that bag, which that bag is almost full. So it's almost time for another giveaway. And wow, yeah. I never knew I was such a lippy lover until I put this together. <laughs> so most of these uh, lovely cases right here I got from like Ross and uh, Marshalls. But uh, yeah, my most loved is Huda Beauty lipsticks. And then I got some Max and a lot of Jeffree Star and Dose of Colors. And then um, Too Faced. Tarte, ColourPop, Marc Jacobs. So I also keep like my brow products in here and just a couple extra of uh, glosses. So yeah, I like having these out and it kind of helps me choose my colors when I'm doing my looks anyway, if I can just have them out and see what I'm working with. So I really like this. Okay, coming over to my main desk, I have all my brush, well, not all my brushes, but most of my brushes out here. Oops, that's gonna go back. Uh, most of my brushes out here on my desk. My friend had got me the Beetlejuice palette uh, for Christmas, and I really, really liked the picture on there, so I kind of put that to hide um, the back piece on that case, and I really, really like that. So I have my most used like blushes and bronzers. And just kind of all my main stuff that I need to grab right away. This is all of my eyeliners um, and my skincare that I use just before I do a makeup look. Coming over here, 
this was actually um, what the makeup holder came in. I kind of transitioned this into my little sponge collection holder. Um, it keeps them from getting kind of like dusty. So yeah, I actually like that. Um, this stuff isn't usually on top of it, but I'm still organizing. <laughs> still organizing. I just kind of put my dirty brushes in that, so don't pay attention to it. Uh, this was one of my first make makeup organizers. I got this off of Amazon. I actually really like it. You put it together yourself. I like the fact that it spins. It's not too big. It has uh, different spots where you can make the shelves so you can make them as tall as you need to or as short as you want to. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And of course I got my Ikea drawers, one on each side. Um, I got my Ikea desk. The desk is mostly where I keep like my main palettes. So these are my absolutely most loved palettes. So you'll find a lot of my Too Faced palettes, Urban Decay, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, my Tarte palettes are back there. And then this is where I'll usually keep mascaras that I'm using at the moment. Um, if you guys have not tried the Sky High mascara, oh my God, you need to. I love it. It survives work. It is fantastic. And of course, my eye primer from Gerard Cosmetics. Yes, love it. Tarte Shape Tape, all that good stuff. So yeah, so these are like easy access. Um, and just some highlighters and some of my loose products. I really don't know what to do with these just yet. Um, but yeah, I might get another little bin. I got this from like the Dollar Tree. So this one and this one from the Dollar Tree. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and my blue ones. Um, and I might just organize those just like that. So, yeah. And then of course, in my Ikea drawers, don't mind my house shoe. Um, I kind of organize them to ones I use the most to ones I use the least. Um, so like in this drawer, I have more of my, um, my Too Faced, my ColourPop, uh, Dominique Cosmetics, Huda Beauty, Marc Jacobs. Uh, so yeah, yeah, those are like my second most loved and then in here these would definitely be up there but they're so big my pack McGrath palettes <sighs> I love them so much but they are here for the time being so and then we got my color pop and my milk cosmetics that a lovely friend gave to me for uh, Christmas oh my god I was so beside myself in excitement I couldn't even speak. <laughs> uh, my kids are like, what's wrong? I'm like, you just don't understand. Um, so yeah, that is in that drawer. In here, we have some more palettes. It's gonna be palettes, palettes everywhere. Um, so we have, you know, Urban Decay, Hip Dot, some of my colorful palettes. This is where I keep my Natasha Denona palettes. Um, and yeah, so this one still needs a little bit more organizing and fixing, but we're getting there. This one, kind of random, kind of empty. Um, this is like the Jeffree Star palette. Um, and <laughs> Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, James Charles, Jaclyn Hill. Like, I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking about all that. Anyways, moving on. Uh, some of my favorite collections that I did not want to get rid of, like Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast. Cannot get rid of that. Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, my candy palette. Oh, my mermaid palette. I love it. One of the original, you know, Kat Von D um, palettes. This packaging is just like, mm. you know, I know that she went off the deep end with the whole stuff that she was talking about about not vaccinating her son and things like that but you have to get credit where credit is due this packaging is on point and with the brand with the people that have taken over the brand for, to turn it into kvd i don't think you're ever going to get anything like that again coming over to the other side uh we have more brushes i told you not all my brushes were out so uh yes yeah, so i got two cases back there those are eye brushes these are face brushes 
And then I have my eyelash drawer with some of my favorite lashes. Velour definitely is my top favorite. Um, the Irolize Ir lashes, I love those lashes. These are another absolute favorite of mine. It is a Co-Beauty uh, lashes, as you can see. I do have quite a few. They are so stunning. I love them. I need to use this one. <laughs> I need to use this one. So uh, I need to get to create some more looks because... I love my lashes. I've actually started with these Kiss lashes when I was learning how to put them on. I still struggle, still struggle, but I'm getting better where I was able to move up to a little bit more of advanced. And moving on. Yeah, this is my bronzer highlight palette uh, drawer. I love this drawer. Highlights are a favorite of mine. And uh, this is where I keep all of my highlighting palettes. Ah, this, this drawer makes me so happy. So, yeah. And this is kind of like a backup drawer where I keep some of my glitters, um, some extra backup products. And then, and then in this bottom drawer, I kind of keep some of my extra backup uh, skincare that I have to get to. So, yeah, this is it. Oh, that uh, big black piece that you see in the back, that is my backdrop holder. Or I don't even really remember the proper term for it. This is what holds my backdrops when I use them. So I got this off of Amazon as well, and I'm gonna have that link down below. I love that it's really, really sturdy. I had one in the beginning when I was filming. Uh, that one wasn't as sturdy, and it just kind of was wobbly and very difficult to transition my backdrops. Um, so I do like the fact that this is more sturdy. It has a bar at the top as well as the bottom, and I don't know if you can tell, but that right there, um, it's, it's very heavy, so it's not going anywhere. So it makes it easier to change. So, yeah, that is it. My beauty room. All right, guys, so that is it. This is my little beauty room makeup filming studio tour. <laughs> all in one um yeah i hope you guys liked it and like i said i will have uh most of the information that i talked about down below in the description box and yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in i really appreciate it and i will see you on the next video bye